good evening india is electing its new president and also new vice president as far as these two elections are concerned both the elections are indirect meaning people are not permitted to vote in this particular election but the representatives of the people will be voting in this election but who will vote in president's election and who will vote in the vice president election that is important meaning there is an electoral college for electing the president of india electoral college for electing the vice president of india electoral college means these are the members who are permitted to vote in the election of the president and similarly there is a separate electoral college for the election of the vice president and in this session i would like to discuss with you regarding the difference between the members the difference between the electoral college for the election of the president and vice president first let me discuss with you regarding the electoral college with respect to the election of the president the president is elected by elected members of the parliament meaning elected members of lok sabha elected members of rajya sabha plus elected members of the state legislative assemblies plus legislative assemblies of delhi and puducherry so these are all the members put together they form an electoral college for the election of the president we need to understand very clearly nominated members are not permitted to vote in the election of the president that is the reason why when we discuss about the election of the president we mention very clearly elected members of both the houses of the parliament elected members of the state legislative assemblies and the elected members of assemblies of delhi and pondicherry clear and all these put together will form an electoral college for the election of the president clear so this is number 1 and in some states in some states apart from the legislative assembly you also have legislative councils but please remember the members of the legislative councils are not permitted to vote in the election of the president meaning they are not the part of the electoral college for electing the president clear this is with respect to the president of india but what about the vice president very important one vice president is elected by the members of both the houses of the parliament when i say members of both the houses of the parliament that will include nominated members also all the members of lok sabha all the members of rajya sabha put together will form an electoral college for electing the vice president of india and who ever gets elected as a vice president that vice president is a ex officio chairman of the rajya sabha and please make yourself very clear and sure with respect to the electoral college for the president and the vice president since this is the election year and india is electing new president and vice president and in the any fourth coming examination there may be a question with respect to electoral college thank you so much i'll see you in the next session